We're revisiting a drill that we've done before. It's uh, it's a drill that a lot of the dog brothers use, and it's a very simple drill. Um, the footwork that you do is one, two, one, two. I'm stepping in, I'm stepping out. As I step in, I'm hitting angle one. As I step out, that's my umbrella or my root toe. Step in, step out. It's a very, very simple, uh, simple drill, and it's a very standard drill. I'm gonna do it with Babu, when Babu steps in, go back. Simple, and I'm looking to basically create a sort of metron metronome. Keep that tempo and the flow. Right? Now, another variation of this drill that you can do, this is a more classical Pikiti variation of it, is when Babu steps in for angle one, I am going to my neck, I am going to step back and angle one, cut his forearm. Steps in. Now, I am going to step in to cut his neck, he's going to step back and cut my forearm, angle two. Footwork is the same, the basic principles are the same. But instead of that umbrella, I am cutting his hand. And one of the reasons why I really like these drills is because they teach me that the number one thing that is protecting me and is helping me fight is not what's happening up here, it's what's happening down here. So for example, it doesn't matter whatever it is that I'm doing. If I don't, if I step back, my body doesn't go anywhere, this is not going to be that effective. Nor, neither, neither will this. I need to be able to step get my body out, out of the way and out of range of the weapon. Only then can I do whatever. This is like an insurance policy. It's there to, it's like a safety net. With the first, uh, same with the angle one to his hand. It doesn't matter if I'm cutting his hand, if I also get cut. So I need to get my body out of the way. Same thing when I enter. It doesn't matter if Babu just cuts my hand. He needs to get his body out and now he can cut. One of the other reasons I really like this format of drilling is because it allows me to work a variety of different entries, right? I don't, and a variety of different entries while still breaking that half beat that we spoke about the last time that we uh, spoke about this drill. So the half beat uh, is basically, we're making this, this is our tempo. That's me looking to enter on the half beat, right? So if our tempo is, is what I'm looking to do. And I can do that with a variety of different different things. I can go right? I can bang come down. I can go So there's so, and, and it's just about, the only thing that limits you in this is your imagination. Different ways that I can enter on that half beat. And I really like this because it gives me the opportunity to um, explore those different, different, different ways while still keeping that same sense of, while still trying to understand rhythm, how to break that rhythm, understanding range, timing, flow.